So. Hi. How are you guys? Good. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. It's nice outside, so that always makes me happy. I know. Yeah. Are you local? Or are you? Um, I live in Oregon. Oh. Okay. So just to stay away from you guys. Very cool. <laughs> Nice. So just introduce yourselves. What are, what instruments do you play? What do you, what's your groove? Cool. So um, I'm Sam. Probably I'll be doing most of the talking, but I'm going to have them talk as much as they can because uh, sometimes they're quiet, but this is... I'm Jack, Jack. and I play guitar and uh, I mean, most primarily lead guitar, if you call it that. But yeah, that, that's me. Uh, my name's Hunter and I play drums. That's it. <laughs> I'm Luke. I play bass. And then I'm Sam. I sing and play guitar as well. So. Awesome. So, what part of California are you guys from? Um, Orange County, Southern gotcha. Orange. So, yeah, we're kind of uh, a little, little further south uh, from LA. So. Okay, gotcha. That's like, yeah, Disneylandish area, yeah, right? Okay, there. that's what. I, that's the only thing I know that's from. That's the spot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Anaheim. Nice. So. Yeah. So when and how did you guys become a band? Like, how did you, how did the whole thing come together? Uh, any of you want to answer this one? I think <clears throat> me and Jack got together because um, we were friends in like middle school and Jack played trumpet and I wanted to, you know, have fun, like playing instruments together. And then after that, Jack started learning guitar. And then I think that's when he was also friends with Sam, and she wanted to play guitar too. So, and then we just kind of started playing together. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't really like start having a, like a band like practice sessions like that didn't really start until like freshman year of high school. So like twenty eighteen ish, around then. Yeah, twenty eighteen. Okay. Um, so yeah, it wasn't really like we kind of just like messed around um, in their garage because they had the drums and uh, bass. I think you played bass like for mm -hmm. a while, right? Yeah, I was a younger brother, so I was just like put in there. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Younger brother syndrome. <laughs> yeah. But, so did you guys like go into it knowing you were going to make music together or did it just kind of happen after you started doing your thing together? I think at first it was like for fun. Like we didn't really um, think of it as a serious like profession or anything, but after like some time, of like Sam and I taking guitar lessons and wanting to write music like on our own. Then we kind of brought it to the band and said we should make our own music. And then that's kind of how that happened, I think. I think it kind of mainly <clears throat> started as like, we wanted to play cover songs because we liked some songs specifically. These three liked Radiohead and I did, I had no idea like who Radiohead was. And so mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, I'll be, I'll be here. I'm along for the ride. And then they were just like, learn this song. I was like, okay, sick. And I learned that song and now we're, here <laughs> there you go it works yeah so what is you were kind of talking about this a little bit but what is all of your guys's history with music like I know you were saying that you started taking guitar lessons but like when did music start becoming a big part of your lives did we go like one at a time yeah yeah either yeah whatever works so um just to start I think at first kind of a funny story I started I really wanted to play guitar because I was a little girl and I watched anime and, and there in anime, there were a whole bunch of like different, like cool artists and they were all like rock stars. And I was just like, that's sick. I want to be like that. And yeah. so I made my parents get me a guitar for Christmas. And then I didn't touch it for two years. I think it sat in my closet and I didn't, like, I didn't look at it. I didn't play it. And like, sometimes my sister would walk in and she would be like, yeah, I want to play that instrument. I'm just like, no, don't touch it. It's mine. <laughs> and so then eventually, for some reason, someday I was just like, okay, I guess I'll learn this song because I had it sitting there and I kind of wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I picked up guitar. So I knew how to like strum chords. But then right as I was kind of learning, that's when I like met these two through him. And then it was just like, hey, let's play songs together. So then it just kind of kept rolling. But yeah, then nice. we took guitar lessons. So yeah, uh, I'd say I wasn't really into music for like a long portion of my early life because all my mom played in the car was like pop music and like Taylor Swift and stuff. But uh, in in like middle school, I joined band and started playing trumpet, like he said, just in the school band. It wasn't really a passion of mine until 
later on in like eighth grade when I really started to get like better at the instrument. Um, but that's also the, around the time where I was actually introduced to like good music. Um, or I guess that's kind of subjective, but <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I, w I started listening, like actually listening to music like every day in like late middle school. And that's when I listened to Radiohead and stuff like that. Um, Obviously, you had so many phases of music. Yeah. Like he listened to Radiohead, and then it turned into Slipknot, and then it was only like <laughs> metal, and then I was like, oh. "Yeah, that's how it happens, though." That's how it happens, yeah. Yeah, and then um, yeah, I, I played trumpet for like eight years in school, and then as soon as I started playing guitar, I realized that guitar is just more fun, so I just stuck with that instrument, and it also appeals more to the music that I listen to, so that kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. um but yeah now it's now i listen to like obviously more um math rock or like emo chill not not super high production like what i used to listen to i think also guitar is more of like an instrument that's like you can take into your own style a lot easier than like say trumpet mm -hmm. yeah. i feel like you're more limited with trumpet than you are with guitar for some reason but... well yeah because I feel like trumpet mainly serves a purpose as being like a really loud and bright like lead instrument um unless it's like part of a whole like i don't know orchestra but can't play like, chords on a trumpet yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so, there's yeah, a lot more to do on a guitar art, as a solo like artist um i think guitar is more useful um unless you're in an orchestra like i said mm -hmm. uh, yeah i think it's uh, similar for me because me and Jack were in the same band class in middle school yeah and I played the French horn and I didn't really like it so I, I want I knew I wanted to switch instruments and I was like leaning towards like percussion and stuff like that and yeah that, I think that's when I picked up um, just drums in like middle school and I just started taking lessons um yeah. yeah, I think that's when I, like, really got into music, I think. I think it's it's funny, because if I have a whole bunch of, like, like videos that these two used to send of, like, just band class. Yeah, I remember. I have one um, really old one of you guys, like, playing Wet Hands on, what was it? It was a marimba or something? Yeah, it was yeah. on the marimba. <laughs> it's funny. That's yeah. great. I don't really take band class seriously. Who does, honestly, for does. such a long time? <laughs> but then that's how you get into the, like, scene of music at the same time. So exactly. it, You're in high it happens kind of backwards. Yeah. Well, okay. Hunter and I, stepsisters, actually wanted to start a band. That's what originally got us into oh, bass and drums. That. Mm -hmm. that was in, like, when I was in, like, sixth grade or something like that. Yeah. And I just picked it up because I thought it would be kind of fun. And at first, so it really wasn't fun. <laughs> but then as it kept, I just stuck with it for whatever reason and it became more fun as I got better just kind of similar to what happened with Jack yeah that's nice. fair I also cool. have a I have a funny story I'd like to share um I know this is um like I share this one a lot but what's really funny to me is how um when we first had like our very first like actual band practice mm -hmm. uh this guy didn't say a word like Luke over here entire like, time. the entire time we walked in I saw him sitting on the couch didn't know who he was like I kind of knew Hunter because we went to school together but never knew Luke and um well, I remember like we would stand in the garage and we were like talking for some like maybe two hours and he didn't say a single word <laughs> the whole time and now yeah. like just like looking around like looking at how he bounces around on stage is just like kind of really wholesome to me because mm -hmm. like he's coming out of his shell a lot so I think I that just shows how like you guys have become kind of a family and become more comfortable with each other I know, yeah <laughs> that's awesome and now you're like an actual band and that's just awesome so it's really cool to see yeah. so you guys were dropping singles but you like released your full ep in 2022 so how did that what was that process like getting that ep together with all those singles that you'd before singles and then coming into the ep i think for a while what we really wanted to do was get an album out but at the same time we were and we still kind of are but back then we really were in like a stage of kind of figuring out who we were who we wanted to be and what we wanted to sound like at the same time because it like figuring out how to write music as step number one is the hardest thing ever especially mm -hmm. when you're trying to be unique and you're trying to be 
somebody nobody else has ever been before, but you're listening to a whole bunch of artists you're trying to take like inspiration from. I think it's really tough, but we spent a whole lot of time just like writing together, scrapping stuff, writing together, scrapping stuff, writing some really bad songs. <laughs> and then eventually we came across some one day and kind of got like into a flow where we kind of made some stuff and we were just like, hmm, this is kind of cool, but I want to release it now, not later. Mm -hmm. So we put it together in a collection and then it kind of like came all under the same style. So came out to a pretty good EP, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. Pull up any of our early trash work. Our yeah. early trash work. No, I don't think I have one, but I, I, I do know what they sound like. I wish I could share what they sound like. I think it's so on bad. Discord, right? Yeah, actually, it's probably, probably on yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll look for him later. I'll look for him later. But so that EP started as, or it started in Vaseline's, and now you have Manny Manny out. So how did how did the process coming out of that EP going into dropping another single? Like, what was the process behind Manny Manny like? So I would say that um, personally, I believe that Manny Manny um, is more catered to our like present day, like style and listening, like what we listen to and inspirations we take from nowadays versus when we wrote like the songs that are on our EP, those were written mm -hmm. like three years ago. So the thing about our EP is although we released it in 2022, a lot of the material that's on it is from two to three years earlier. Did we release it in 2021? Uh, I think, I don't know. Who knows? 20, I think it was early 22 that we released it. I thought yeah, it was so. April. That's what I looked on Spotify or what I saw on Spotify. Yeah, yeah I have um, no idea. Oh, it is 2022. Yeah. I don't know why so I'm that not. stuff is like pretty old to you then. So you yeah. all are kind of not different people, but you've matured and moved along from a lot of that stuff especially yeah. like instrumentally i think mm -hmm. we've all had like a big like um jump in terms of how we play or like have gotten a little more comfortable in our playing styles specifically so mm -hmm. yeah it's cool yeah. to see that growth <laughs> yeah i like that exactly but even your nanny riff that was like written a long time ago too right? yeah. yeah i mean that's kind of what happens is you don't really you like have these ideas and you're not sure if they can go anywhere and then one day like months later after you already have that idea you bring it up again and mm -hmm. start like just when we're at like practice or something we'll start building off of it just for fun and I think that's kind of what happened with Manny like accidentally becomes a song and you're just like yeah. oh <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah because even though I like one of us might write something catchy um it doesn't really get built off of right away it's mm -hmm. only when there's been some time to like let the the idea sink in that we really work on it because we don't want to just jump to to writing like ideas right off the bat if that yeah. makes sense mm -hmm. just so because did... <laughs> sorry go ahead I interrupted you oh no go go ahead <laughs> I was just gonna say did you guys all write Manny Manny together was that something that like someone kind of brought to the table it was like like I said it started out as like an idea um I had and then okay. what we kind of do is one of us will bring like I'll bring like a guitar riff or something or Luke will bring a cool like progression that he created like a chord progression mm -hmm. and we'll kind of bounce off each other um, in the same space mm -hmm. um, and whether that might be you know when we're all practicing together or we'll send each other ideas over like discord mm -hmm. um, it's a group effort like definitely for the instrumental side of things Sam focuses more on like lyricism and occasionally we might help her out with that but mostly that's her thing but the instrumentals are all us four yeah I, th I think um since everybody does write music differently I think it's important to like say that our kind of flow or like how we write songs the I think the reason why it takes so long is because we're so meticulous with what we add and what we want out like if we want something in there, we're like, we're going to think about it and then we're going to change some things and then we're going to think mm -hmm. about it again and then we're going to change some things. But for the most part, it's always been like, we bring something to the table in a group setting and then we kind of like mess around with it, see what happens. And once that battery like runs out, we're just like, I'm pooped, I'm done. Like, I don't want to, mm -hmm. I don't want to look at this song anymore. That's when we take it online, record what we have and then kind of bounce back and forth between in-person and online and tracking and then eventually we'll come out with like a structure that we can then build off of so. 
Awesome. That's a, yeah. You're saying a very meticulous process. Yeah, right. Like, sounds like you guys have it all figured out. It sounds like you have a really good flow, which is awesome. Getting there. <laughs> Getting there for sure. I also wanted to ask about the album art. Was that something that you guys created or is it someone, you know, like even for uh, just all everything that you have out, it's all really cool. Actually. Yeah. That's uh. so one of my um, like really close friends from first middle school into high school she helps us a lot with our photography and she's also an artist she attends LCAD and Laguna um but she is very talented she's also done merch for us but she um she helped us out with like an idea for what we should kind of make visually I know that that's another really important part of a song is what you want people to envision because a lot of people are like more visual learners than audible Mm -hmm. learners I've noticed so when you have a picture to an audio it like it does help um and I think with the song like with how cute it wanted to be and the fact that it's about a dog it's about a dog by the way um the fact that it's about a dog I think it would be cool if we just did like some sock puppet thing and I was just like Mm -hmm. hey can you make this a sock puppet and then she sent us some ideas and I sent her a picture of a sock on my hand and that was kind of funny and then she took reference from that and that was pretty much it so it definitely fits the vibe of the song a lot right? which I think is so fun <laughs> so yeah it's awesome that you like have friends that are able to help you out with that I know, so yeah. a really great job on everything sweet I know yeah we have uh we have another friend who helps us with some of our art sometimes who does the who, she did the vast lands art mm-hmm. it's really nice to have like artists in the circle that can help out with that sort of thing yeah 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 it's awesome it all turned out really great um, I know you mentioned a few already, like Radiohead and Slipknot and stuff, but who are some other artists that you guys take inspiration from? That was, uh, I think that those two were just like a long time ago, but if you guys want to yeah, some of Yeah, I wouldn't say those are uh, relevant anymore, but <laughs> I think more relevant artists that we take inspiration from would be um, Delta Sleep, um, another one, Covet, um, what's some other ones symbols symbols toe toe is a good one yeah a lot of actually japanese artists like a i don't even know how to pronounce it tricot Trico. 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 yeah yeah um and then one personally that i took a lot of like inspiration from just like vocal wise and lyrically was just purse you know mm-hmm. but, that's awesome that's quite yeah. quite a range i don't know it, it's always cool to see it. a very big range but you yeah. can kind of see like the little bits and pieces of inspiration from each mm-hmm. of them that's i haven't nice. heard of a lot of those artists but i'll have to check them out now and see like how yeah, that's you played should. into your you your should. style now so that's really cool um and you guys have a show coming up pretty soon on the 22nd right Definitely. so what does that look like behind the scenes what are you guys doing to prepare for a show like do you have any like rituals or anything you do right before the show or is it just kind of get up get on the stage jack always has to go to the bathroom that's his ritual <laughs> it's yeah. a good one the it's... day of the show i get really uh anxious and um i have uh ibm so or ibs so it, you know it's, it's never a good time but um, not a good combo but it's okay it's it's kind of funny yeah every every yeah. single time it's, it's just like funny. i think he's got like that whatever it's called um like invisible anxiety or something mm-hmm. like where you get super close to the show day he's fine like he's chill the entire time he's chill the day of the show comes he's just like it's just not I can't eat, I can't eat breakfast my stomach hurts and I'm just like oh, <laughs> <laughs> you poor thing <laughs> That's but, yeah. I don't know I don't know if we have any other like rituals really a lot of it's just um Prepare. get together preparing for sure if mm-hmm. we feel unprepared we're gonna play really badly just because we're not confident and I mm-hmm. feel like that's a lot of what brings a show to life is if you're confident in what you're playing or even if you mess up but you're still confident like it, sh- it does help a lot with like the energy in the room too so mm-hmm. um, yeah I think that's pretty much it nice well, a lot of practice you know. a lot of practice yeah. yeah yeah that makes a big difference for sure <laughs> um yeah. So what what are some of your other favorite parts about playing live? Like, do you feel that there's a big difference when you're on stage versus when you're recording something? Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, the difference between, like, recording something. Uh, I mean, because we tend to, like, for Nanny, we tried live tracking for the first time, and it kind of gave the same, like, feel as being live on stage. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we're more in sync with each other when we're live. There's a lot more communication happening. Um, but specifically, like 
right now, our live setting, I feel like shows a lot more of who we are today and what we can do. Because when we recorded that whole EP, I, I like mix and mastered it myself in my bedroom. And it's not my best work, I must say, but I did want it to, to like get it out. I didn't mm -hmm. want to get it out. And so I kind of tried my best and it kind of sounds a little scuffed here and there, but I feel like when you hear us live, it kind of brings that energy that was missing in the original recordings, and it yeah. it really brings it to life. So, mm -hmm. yeah, live shows are definitely more powerful. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially when you've got all of your like close buddies like screaming mm -hmm. the, the lyrics back to you. Yeah, <laughs> you've got the support and the love in the room. It definitely like that all makes a big difference. It's awesome. yeah. yeah. So outside of music, I, I'm assuming that's a very big part of your lives, but what else do you guys like to do? Like, do you have any hobbies or interests outside of playing instruments? We climb a lot. Oh, cool. Rock climbing. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, there's also gaming and eating out a lot. Those are good ones. Nice. That. Nice. Greatest nice. hobby, eating out. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fun one. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah I Picasso, though. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you know. see exactly what games you play. Uh, I actually don't play many games nowadays. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of like video games. Um, hanging out in person and like getting closer with each other is a big part for us mm -hmm. too. These are my best friends, so <laughs> it awesome. does help. But we do go climbing a lot, like rock climbing is, especially in like the last six months. I think it's become a hobby for us on the side we all like to go together and just kind of cheer each other on so that's fun it seems it's like you guys have such a good relationship that's so yeah. awesome <laughs> yeah thanks and it's also like um it's a good physical activity yeah, so. yeah. it's gotten us all in shape a little bit <laughs> that helps. there you go getting ready for the shows yeah right like top 10 in slap shot, right oh, oh yeah yeah we we game a lot i'm like um i play this game it's a it's like a hockey it's like a physics based hockey game and there's only like a thousand concurrent players so i'm like top top one percent in that game that's, that's awesome cool. yeah <laughs> love it okay um these are kind of just random questions at this point just to like get to know you more but if you guys could open and you can answer this individually or as a group but if you could open for any artist dead or alive who would you want to open for Ooh, that's a really tough question. Um, I mean, I guess that really is about like who have we like really looked up to? Probably Delta together. Sleep the most. Yeah, probably. and we probably kind of fit their vibe too. I yeah, think Delta I think Delta Sleep. Yeah, that would be um, a really cool like show just in general because mm -hmm. we've got I mean we've gotten a lot of people say that they can hear a lot of the inspiration from them or that we sound a lot like Delta Sleep at some point so I think in a show setting together it would work pretty well too so you need Plus to check them like, out I've never even heard of them <laughs> they're cool they're cool yeah I'm they're, excited they're like very um colorful math rock I guess they're very very tight so math rock is such an odd like name of a genre but i, I love know. it so much it's so fun i love messing and you guys it just makes sense like I your love... music makes sense in that genre <laughs> yeah i love messing around with people when they ask me what like math rock is mm -hmm. like I, I we posted recently on social medias about like hey we're a math rock band you know like just trying to get our name out there or whatever mm -hmm. and i'll get people being like you guys are so cool but what's math rock and i just like, <laughs> out, like the weirdest like completely irrelevant sentences just to explain what it is like I did um I did one the other day where it was just like somebody asked what math rock was and I was just like it's pretty much where you take like calculus level equations and then compete with them on a hard rock stage and it's just like that makes no sense but, to but it's so funny them, it's so, so funny, funny. <laughs> it's just like messing with them it's great yeah yeah that's such a fun way to describe your music yeah. um what was your guys's first shows or concerts that you went to that we went to or that we played mm -hmm. That you went to we went to actually i think what's funny is that now that we're on the same subject um it was it both your first concerts mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. jack and i took these two dudes to delta sleep in 20 oh cool 2021 that's fitting yeah 
Maybe, I no, I think it was 22. 22. It was 22. Yeah, 2022. Yeah. We took them to see Delta Sleep and it was their first show and it was the best experience ever. We got like up in the front, like there were people moshing behind us. And it That's was like, awesome. Because we're just like, this is what a concert's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a great first experience too, for right. that to be your first concert and it goes so well. It's yeah, awesome. So I, that's I'm kind of wrapping it up now, but what's next for you guys? Do you have any music that people can look forward to? like coming out relatively soon oh yeah so uh um just wanted to say on the same note as the the show that we're gonna be playing next next week if anybody's in the la area and they want to see us play live we're playing with standards at the knitting factory in north hollywood it's gonna be a really big show um hopefully it'll turn out great i think this is the first time we're playing with a band that's in the relatively the same genre as us Mm -hmm. so it's going to be a completely different experience um and also we've got a music video coming soon um don't tell anybody but i just said that so we've got a music (laughs) video coming soon um for our recently released song and then also an album is in the works so awesome that's so exciting i can't wait to see when that stuff comes out so i'll be getting this up in the next couple days um are you good with the music video thing being in there yeah Yeah, okay awesome yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for doing this. I really appreciate your time. Good luck at your show. And I hope, you know, everything goes well. So have, have a great day. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank, and you. thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Really thank you guys. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Awesome. All right. Thank have you. Have fun. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Bye.